Oh, uh, can I thank the uh, Deputy Minister uh, for his statement today? Uh, Deputy Minister, uh, you welcomed the announcements from the Welsh Government in February 2017 that you were committed to establishing 100,000 apprenticeships over a, a five-year period. It has for far too long been a neglected element in economic growth. We also believe that focusing on apprenticeships above Level 3 was a well-founded decision, as benchmarking has shown that this is where we get the highest returns on investment. It was also stated at the time that there would be better performance measurement, clearer pathways, more awareness, increased numbers taking STEM subjects, and an increased integration between apprenticeships and further education. Could the Deputy Minister confirm that these uh, aspirations are also being achieved, as well as the increase in numbers. Deputy Minister, those brought up in the 60s and 70s benefited from apprenticeships that lasted over five years. It taught participants not only the working skills, but also how to behave in the workplace and gave them a sense of responsibility. Indeed, it could be said that it made those involved more aspirational, empowering them to become involved in management and higher posts within their working environment. The net result of this is that it gave added value to society as a whole. It augurs well that 31,360 apprenticeships uh, learning programmes were started in 2017-18, an increase, I believe, of 30% compared to 2016-17 and 56,635 since the target of 100,000 uh, was mooted. Apprenticeships uh, was int uh, as introduced, but I noticed that the highest take-up has been in healthcare and the public sector. Whilst these are, of course, to be welcomed, it would be gratifying to see a comparative increase in apprenticeships in the private sector. Again, it is gratifying to note that this programme is proven to be so successful in that it is exceeding its original targets. However, we understand that this success is now bringing a strain on funding. But uh, surely, Deputy Minister, this programme is so important to our economy and the apprentices engaged in it, it is essential that funding is made available. This is not simply about the present, but also the future of Wales and those who choose to live and work here. The rewards are there to be realised. The test comes, of course, at the end of these apprenticeships in seeing how many go on to full-time jobs and within the disciplines of their apprenticeships. One question I must ask is, does the figure of 56,635 over over 50% achievement contain those who were already in apprenticeships prior to the scheme and hoovered up into the new scheme, or are they completely new? There also, uh, does the uh, Minister not agree, cannot be a quality of esteem between vocational qualifications and those in so-called acad the academic sphere unless apprentices are funded exactly the same in exactly the same way as those in universities or colleges. Well, I'd like to thank David Rowlands for his comments. Uh, on the question of funding, there has been something of a conjuring trick being taken place by the UK Government on the funding of apprenticeships, because uh, we were not given additional funding to reflect the levy. The levy is, in fact, a tax on businesses, uh, and we've not had the funding passed on. 120 million or so was cut by the government in England on public sector apprenticeships, and woe and behold, 120 million appeared in our budget to fund uh, this scheme. So the overall funding uh, has, has, not, has not increased. Uh, and as I outlined at the beginning, uh, while our approach has shown itself justified in the way that our scheme is on track, the English scheme is over budget and 25% uh, under target. Um, so I think we are uh, confident that our approach is the right approach. And uh, as uh, David Rowland asked, it's not simply focused on the numbers, but it's, it's part of a broader economic approach where we are 
tailoring our apprenticeship to support the Welsh economy and to deliver higher skills, that are focused on the needs of regional economies, that offer better routes through from education uh, into employment, and also encourage a greater employer contribution. It's not just for the state to provide apprenticeships. This is something that businesses uh, must do, uh, and we are happy to work in partnership, but too often uh, some employers are looking to shift their costs uh, onto the government, and that's something that we need to be confident in pushing back on. On the specific question of whether or not the figure of 56,635 included people already uh, in employment, uh, that, I can confirm that figure does exclude people who have left uh, early or who have transferred onto them. So that is uh, a standalone figure. Jack Sargent. 